What if every day you woke up and there was $86,000 deposited in your bank account, but the thing is, you could never get that money back. You had that day to use it and that day only. Well, the thing is, we all do. We all have 86,000 seconds of day time every single day to utilize and maximize. But how much more valuable is your time than money? And how are you using that? It's amazing how many days that we have, but how quick they go by. And I don't know how many times I'm going to need to hear an older person tell me to enjoy it because it's going to go by you like this before I really start to do that. And if you're anything like me, I can look back on my life and think about when I was in middle school, when I was in high school. I always thought, man, when this happens, I can really be happy then. Or when I graduate high school, then I'll be free, then I'll be happy. When I graduate college, when I win the state championship, when I get a girlfriend, when I get married. And we're always putting off our peace and our happiness to the future and we're never really enjoying the present moment. I want to challenge myself, Nathaniel. I want to challenge myself that when I wake up every day and every day that I'm awake and every minute that I'm awake, to just breathe it in and breathe in all that I'm grateful for and all that I have, especially if you're healthy. I mean, if you have health, we should be shouting from the top of the mountains being yeah. like, thank you, God. For this gift. Yeah, and this has recently become so much more real to me because our grandma is at home and she turns 100 years old on Thanksgiving Day and she's sick in her bed, she can't really speak or talk anymore. And I look at her and I think about, man, when I'm in her position, I just, I hope that I can look back on my life and think, I just, I made the best time of my days. I really maximized the times and the seconds that I had. Yeah, we're constantly just putting off our happiness to the future when it's available to us all right now. Every conversation, how many times has someone told me that was such a waste of time? There doesn't need to be any waste of time unless you make it that way. Every conversation that you have with someone, even when you're just sitting there waiting online or whatever, every moment is an opportunity to live, to live that moment to the fullest. And you know what, Nathaniel, that's a great point. Every moment is an opportunity we should be grateful for. Even the moments in our life where not much is going on and we seem bored. Well, great, let's get better at being bored and let's get better at being with ourselves instead of just waiting for that, that text to come in or that next invitation to come in to go to a party so we can distract ourselves away from ourselves in just this moment. This is my life and I love it no matter where we are, no matter where I'm at. And there's an issue here. See, so many people get in the habit day after day of living their life, waiting till they get home, waiting till they go to sleep, waiting till they wake up the next day to be happy. And if you see yourself being in a stuck in a rut like that, then it's time to just drastically change a few days of your life or a week or maybe a month or a year. And that's what we offer to people on our retreats is to come explore something that you've never done before. To get unstuck. Unstuck. <laughs> so the next opportunity that we're presenting for, for ourselves and for you to get unstuck if you feel that way is in Austin, Texas, December 11th through the 13th. It's a weekend retreat. All of our retreats are so different. You're going to be doing things, I can guarantee you that you're going to be living a few days of your life like you have never lived them before. And I'm, I mean, we're going to be jumping in cold bodies of water, spring water. We're going to be hanging out with awesome people, exploring each other in ways that you've never communicated with other people before, handstands and the like. I can't guarantee you, but I believe that when you return home to your life, the only thing that you're gonna be able to say is, man, I'm glad I took the chance and did that. Absolutely. I can't think of one person that's ever went on an awesome adventure and be like, man, I wish I would've stayed home and just continued living the way I was. I always have to remind myself the definition of insanity, you know what that is, you know, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Man, if you're doing the same thing over and over again, if you're not happy with your current life situation and you keep doing the same thing over and over again, what do you expect is going to change? You think something's just going to come along and wake you up and, and that's us, we're waking you up right now. Sometimes I think that wake up call comes in an injury or a death in the family or even a sickness and I don't want to wait till then to start appreciating my health and my life that I have today. I hear you on that. Whether it's coming on a Rob Ross retreat or doing something on your own, do something different that's going to wake you up and get you out of the mundane circle of doing the same thing over and over again and just waiting for the future to be happy. Heck, just right now, take a deep breath in and scream and say, yes, mm. I'm alive and I love it and laugh. <laughs>
If you're interested in joining us in Austin, December 11th, then you can email us robbraws at gmail.com and we are going to get in touch with you. Don't be scared. I cannot wait to get unstuck with you. <laughs>